Today I'm at the Phoenix Centre in Bromley, meeting some of the parents um, who are testing out the new process for support for special educational needs and disability. Today we are announcing the next steps in our journey of reforming the system for special educational needs and disability. We announced just a few days ago that we intend to legislate and we had a big consultation last year on our plans and today we're publishing that consultation saying much more about what we're doing next. So we will be legislating to make sure that every child who at the moment gets a statement gets the new plan, the education, health and care plan. And for the first time that will join up those services and make clear who is going to pay for that and we'll be giving families the option of having a personal budget if they want. We're not going to force them, but if they'd like to take a personal budget, that will give them more choice about how they can spend the money um, to support their child um, and, and their family. We will also be legislating to make sure that every area has to provide a local offer that makes clear the kinds of support that's available for all families who have children with special educational needs and disability. So not just those families um, whose child is on the more complex um, end of, of need, who, who would otherwise have had a statement, but also those who perhaps have a lower level of need but who also need the right kind of support in place early. I really think it's critical that you know that all the services are involved and by all the services involved I'm talking about health, social care and education and the reason for this is because we're working with young people who are very vulnerable and now we're taking them between the ages of 0 to 25 and these are people who are involved with sort of all sorts of different people in their lives. They're vulnerable, they go to different situations and I think it's very difficult for parents to have to keep repeating the story between health, education and social care. So if it's done under one umbrella, I think it would be brilliant. We're saying much more today about what we're going to do to support young people beyond the age of 16. So for the first time, young people who are in college will get the same kind of rights and support and that will be available to them in the same way as has previously been the case for young people who are in school. And previously there have been very different systems and we think that that's not fair um, and it means that many young people are losing out. So we want to join that system up over that divide and lots of families have told us that at 16 that's been a real cliff edge and we want to make sure that that journey is, is, is much more seamless um, across from being a, a young person into the early stages of adulthood.